Okay, here we go again with another math problem. This one is fairly easy. It's just a matter of applying the formulas. And they always give the formulas, except for this formula was not on the SAT. So, and here's the other thing. Sometimes they don't have the volume or uh, the formula, and also they don't have the actual cylinder that they're looking at, a right circular cylinder. So you're gonna have to learn to picture it in your mind. And because it's a right circular cylinder, you're going to know there's a right angle somewhere in here. And you all know I'm not the best drawer. Okay, here's a, here's a cylinder. That's the base. Here's the base. Boy, I belong in preschool for drawing. Here's like the outside. Here's like the outside. So it looks like something like that. Almost like a coffee container, but drawn better. So get the picture in your mind. In the meantime, Let's look at what's going on. A right circular cylinder has a base diameter of 22 centimeters and a height of 6 centimeters. What is the volume in cubic centimeters of this of the cylinder? Now, this is why I wrote this half of 22, because here is finally a better drawn right cylinder and what's going on uh, and what it looks like, because you guys know that when you divide 22 by 2, you get 11. A lot of people are ready to just go ahead and take the 22, but here's the problem with that. This is the radius. So your formula says to use the radius and square it. And then you say, well, why would I do that? When they told me that this over here, uh, base diameter was this. Well, the SAT test makers want to see if you know the difference between a diameter and a base and a radius. Remember, diameter goes all the way across the circle. Okay, I'm not a drawer. I told you that. Okay, and a radius is going to go halfway. So a lot of people say, well, why are we squaring something? you know, or finding the half and then unsquaring it. Please don't ask all these why questions. Just look at the formula, do what it tells you, because asking you the why question is going to confuse you. Just accept what it is. It's the radius. So your radius is 11. And then all you have to do is plug this in to the formula, which this would make this 11 squared times pi and times your height, which was 6. Okay, and 11 times 11 is going to give you 121, right? Those of you who uh, don't remember your factor trees, you can go ahead and do this. 1 times 1 is 1. You remember this is 0. This is going to be 1, 1. And when you get ready to add down, this is going to be, uh, you're going to have 1 here, a 2 here, and a 1 here. Okay, so now you're going to have the next part of this formula, which is going to be written over, and you're going to have 121 for your r squared, you're going to have your pi there, and you're going to have your height, and then all you're going to have to do is multiply 121 times 6. Now let me ask you something. When you do 121 times 6, and believe it or not, this is what and I've, I've been teaching this for quite a few number of years, even your best test taker, even this net will sometimes not be alert and forget to read what they're doing and do this over and over again. And that's what they want. They have the answer that if you do that, that's what's going to happen to you. Six times one is six. This is 726. They told you 726 pi. Don't make the mistake of doing something else because then what happens is you work against yourself, you get aggravated, and before you know it, you're trying to like, okay, but it was multiplied this. Also, be careful because sometimes they'll have the answer for 22 times 22 and 22 times 22, okay, times 6 is 2904 radius. Well, if this says 2940, you're okay. But let's say this said 2904. Voila, you have the distractor answer. 
So you make sure you know what's going on here, what you're doing. Okay, and it's 726 pi. Let me tell you what I did when I first did this. I started thinking about, hey, wait a minute, I have to multiply by pi. So then if you go 726 times 3.14, you're going to get 2,279.6. And you're going to say, wait a minute, something's wrong. I did something wrong. You're going to get all nervous. And then what you do next is you work against yourself and you lose time. So make sure you look at this. They're all pi here. This is the pi, this is the pi, this is the pi, this is the pi. All the answers here. They just want this and they want you to leave pi alone because it was already taken care of. Okay, said, done, move on. Answer is C. Radius here. Diameter would be drawn all the way across. Easy stuff. Don't get these kind of questions wrong. Thanks for watching.